Our excessive heat can have a dangerous impact on our health, but maybe not in the ways that you expect. Staying cool and keeping hydrated is, of course, an important part of surviving the Arizona heat. But what about our medications? Your meds are sitting in your hot car, or they're being delivered in the mail using unair conditioned trucks. One pharmacist says that's never a good idea. It's been excessively hot this week and hotter than normal this summer. We all know staying in the air conditioning and drinking plenty of water is important. But what about the effects this heat can have on our medication? It can degrade different medications. Um, every medication is going to be different, so some may degrade quicker, some may have a longer period of time. Mail order prescription medication sits in these unair conditioned trucks for hours before they make it into your hot unair conditioned mailbox. Teresa Dickinson of Melrose Pharmacy in Phoenix says in some cases the degradation of medication has been fatal. If the medications are in the heat, they can get degraded and then they cannot work. And this is especially bad in people who have insulin or, you know, refrigerated medications, especially that, that life-threatening medications, transplant medications. Leaving you in need of even more medical treatment. Teresa says you should avoid mail order prescriptions at all costs if possible. If you have a choice, you shouldn't use mail order. You should get, actually come into the pharmacy and, and get your prescriptions. Um, but a lot of the, you know, this is a problem with the pharmacy benefit managers. The insurance company is forcing patients to use mail order. Now, if your insurance provider requires your regular prescriptions to be filled by mail, then Teresa says talk to your employer. If you argue enough, some plans may let you use your local pharmacy.